So Vans has this new Comfy Cush outsole cushioning technology that I wanted to give a try. Let you guys know my thoughts, if it's worth buying or not, and give you guys some pros and cons after wearing these. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals or buy either one of these shoes that you can see out here, the Vans uh, slip-ons with comfy cush or the regular pair, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Today's video, I wanted to give you guys the breakdown, as I said, of the Comfy Cush technology and compare to the regular uh, Vans. So the pricing of the Comfy Cush is $60 for the slip-ons and it's only $50 for the traditional uh, classic look with the checkered Vans here. So if you didn't know what the Vans Comfy Cush technology is, as you could see, it looks like a little pillow cloud in the bottom of the insole and that little blue whoosh indicates that it is comfy cush. Also on the bottom of the shoe, there's a little white cushioning underneath it. So from what I understand, the comfy cush is not actually just the insert over top, but it's actually the midsole of the shoe as it's not rubber, it's actually a different kind of uh, softer type material. And as you can see through the bottom of the Vans, the cushioning technology is uh, exposed on the bottom versus the regular pairs is obviously just rubber. So exposed, comfy cush, and then regular rubber. But I have to say there's definitely some pros and cons to this new technology. Some I like, but there's definitely a lot that I don't like. So let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons. The first pro that I'll mention is they did a really good job of just using these on the OG traditional models. It doesn't look like anything different uh, at first glance. And for those people that know what the van slip-ons look like, these look exactly like them. It has the same sort of stylings on the upper and the different panel sections and the Vans logo on the back and even the piping around the midsole looks pretty much exactly the same. I know I didn't buy an identical pair because this part on this one is checkered versus this one is white. You can actually buy one that looks exactly like this though. So I like that they kept it as close to the OG models as they could. Another pro is the price isn't that much different. It's 60 bucks versus 50 bucks, not terrible. Next pro is that these shoes are actually really, really light. So if anybody's looking for a lighter sneaker and you don't really like Vans because they are so darn heavy, as you know, they're bottom heavy, which is why they always land on their bottoms. Still passes the Vans test though, but they're not as bottom heavy as the other pairs. In general, these are really light sneakers. And the last pro is that the shoe does have a little bit more cushioning than the regular pairs. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, it might be worth checking out if you don't like the comfort of the regular uh, Vans. But that's where I'm gonna transition into the cons. Usually people that buy Vans nowadays know what the comfort is with Vans. They also know the same for Chuck Taylors. It's the same sort of thing. It's a heavy rubber outsole uh, and a heavy rubber midsole that is very significant and hard on your feet. It's not something that is well cushioned. So if you're used to that feeling on your feet, this is gonna mix it up and confuse you since it doesn't fit like a traditional pair of Vans. So if you like the traditional feel of the harder outsole and midsole of the Vans shoes, this one you might not like as much. The next con, which is a big one to me is the shoe actually feels real cheap. I know the shoe is supposed to be lighter, but in general, it just feels like a cheap knockoff, to be honest. The midsole doesn't feel like it's gonna be near as durable as the regular pairs uh, because of this comfy cush technology. It just feels different in hand and does not feel uh, very substantial versus the regular pairs that we're used to with the hard rubber and the canvas. I mean, this is the traditional shoe. The overall shoe looks the same from a distance, but in hand, you can tell it doesn't feel the same. The other thing that I wanna mention as a con is the upper is not a regular canvas upper. It's a different type of material, not canvas, and I wish they would have done just regular canvas on here. I don't know why they changed it up, uh, but the regular pairs feel more premium uh, than this. I think it was probably to streamline it and make these as light as possible. For those that want more of a traditional look and feel, it doesn't feel the same. It feels really, really cheap in comparison to the regular canvas Vans. And canvas isn't expensive, so it's crazy that you made a shoe feel more cheap than regular canvas. As I already mentioned, the shoe feels like it's gonna be a lot less durable because of this new technology, which is lighter and softer. In turn, probably not as durable as the standard regular pair. Another con is these comfy cushion on the bottom actually felt a lot more narrow than the regular version, which for my feet, wider feet is just not a great look. I had to wear really, really thin socks to pull it off. 
Anyways, my final thoughts, is it worth buying? In my opinion, it's a big N-O. It's just not really for me, even though it's a cool concept of a reimagination of a classic into a more modernized, comfortable sneaker. Like Converse did it with the Lunarlon series and it worked better for me. Lunarlon was just overall better and more comfortable. Like a drop in Lunarlon Converse felt okay, but this does not feel as good in my opinion. It just feels cheaper to me personally and probably not worth your extra money if you like the regular standard durable version of Vans. You're gonna be happy with a traditional pair regardless. You might be happy with this one if you like a lighter shoe, but that's my thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section. What are your guys' thoughts? Have you guys tried the new Comfy Kush? Is it something you're interested in or not? Just leave a comment and let me know. And but thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna buy either one of these regardless, check the link in the description. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button if you wanna subscribe, notification bell, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, have a good rest of the day. Peace guys.